Ah, guys, you have your. I never forget the essential. Sherlock Holmes versus Jack Ripper. Apparently, they're supposed to be sticky stuff. This isn't water. Go. Going by its sticky okay, texture Lizzie? and odor, I'd say we're dealing with formalin. Mm, yes. Um. How do I do this? No. How does this work? Size 13. Okay. These are the footprints of a tall man who had recently stepped in formalin and who left this room in a hurry. Well, can I walk on it and enter the room now, Holmes? Yes. Hmm. Do you understand how you found yourself in a situation? Your passion discussed in religion is a word. Just read this for yourself, guys. If this letter is addressed to him, it would appear our doctor is a veteran of the American Civil War. Vicksburg is the key. Now, now, that is interesting. What else do we have here? And I'm feeling terrible. I'm pursuing a relationship for what you both marriage. Now it's returning a life of love, fleeing the physical. So it's Francis Tumblety. Okay, so he's gay. All the best, Charles. Oh. This Dr. Tumblety seems to be attracted to men more than women. That much is clear. So, the doctor has a handgun, and he would use it to restrain young men, perhaps. There are a few pieces of a large glass jar in this puddle. There's a freaking, the man who left the footprints um, on the ground must have walked in it while fleeing. Right there. Right there. Ovaries. Uterus. These footprints are the same as those found in front of the door. These footsteps must be those of Squibby. He must have hit Tumblety, who dropped one of his jars. And he ran out. Elementary homes. Perfect, Watson. Going by its size, this enormous trunk must be a wardrobe. These brackets are rather unusual. What do you think, Watson? Let's see, Holmes. These are the names of the battles from the American Civil War. Are you freaking kidding me? Name of the puzzles to enter the dates of the battles on the left side of the location of the battles flag. <laughs> Can I enlarge this? Let me see. Hold on a minute, guys. If I can just... Whoa. Okay, hold on. 1204-61. I am under the impression... Okay, so what do have to do here? Let's see. Five latches. Twelve zero. Four sixty-one. This is supposed to be fourth summer. This is supposed to be this one here. Seventeen oh nine sixty-two. Can we just like? I am under the impression. Shut up. to be okay uh, 0205 62 02 05 63 this is supposed to be the star this is supposed to be the little cowboy hat yeah um no not that one that one there okay Gettysburg zero three zero seven sixty three 
Why do some of them go up and some of them go down? I don't understand. This is supposed to be... Oops. This. This. 040763. 04073. This is supposed to be this and elementary. There we go. Ooh, gross. This is dreadful, Holmes. This trunk contains four jars in which organs are floating. Watson, can you tell me at a glance what these organs are? I would say that they are parts of female reproductive organs. Are these specimens fresh? No, and I am quite certain of it. From the color and appearance, I'd say these organs have been in these jars for several months, if not years. Let's go to Baker Street. Is there someone here? Yes. Okay, Lizzie. Doctor. What's going on, Finley? You seem to be in a panic. The two police officers wanted to know if someone suspicious had entered here. The Whitechapel killer has struck again. And if I understood correctly, he killed two women in the past few hours. Okay, Where? Lizzie. I don't know. The police didn't tell me anything. Quick, Holmes. We must catch up with them. Certainly not, Watson. Mr. Finley, do you know if the doctor had any other pieces of luggage up there apart from this trunk? One or two, I think. Do you take care of the doctor's laundry? My wife does laundry for the tenants once a week. The sheets, likewise. Would you be kind enough to let us know as soon as possible if the doctor shows up again? Certainly. I'm just worried that he won't be back, you see, and I'm annoyed about my keys. Holmes, I don't follow. The Whitechapel killer is, at this very moment, very close by, and we are just staying put, twiddling our thumbs. The Whitechapel killer has always been nearby. And what will we do? Go back to the scene of the crime or crimes and mix with the onlookers and trample the crime scenes even more? No, our time will come. Let's return to Baker Street. Let's go back to Baker Street. Home sweet home. Alrighty. We were less than 200 feet away from the first victim a few minutes before she was murdered. We might even have heard the murderer's voice. And we haven't done a thing for the past week. You're the one not doing anything, Watson. For my part, I have been working. And, as you know, I've made good use of this week by tracking down and verifying all of the solid facts on these two murders to write up the notes that are on my desk. Read them over again and try to gain a bit of perspective. Um... Just reduce yourself, guys. Kidney, water side labor. So long. <laughs> I have read and reread them, but give me something to do then, a task where I can get stuck in because. Find me a slaughterhouse that will give us exclusive use of its block for an hour, and find me. In your opinion, which common animal shares the most characteristics with humans from a physiological point of view? Uh, pig? I don't even know why I asked that question. Pray, find a dozen fresh pig's heads, Watson. Not big heads, I prefer small ones. Sows? That's it, Watson. As soon as you have done that, let me know. I request that you search in Whitechapel. Who knows? Perhaps you will learn something about where Dr. Tumblety may be hiding. There is also no shortage of slaughterhouses and pig's heads in those parts. Okay. So apparently we have to go to... Uh, no. The brothel. Which is... Okay, Lizzie. Which is here. Oops. What did you say? 
Good evening, Lucy. But is something wrong? Good evening, Dr. Watson. Yes, it's my uncle. He's no longer with us. Please accept my condolences, miss. Thank you, Doctor. But why are you here? Can I help you? Do you know oh, anything man. about the two latest murders? Oh, goodness me, no. All the girls in the neighborhood are terrified. Who will be next? That's what everyone is asking. My request may sound rather strange, but do you know if there is a butcher's or slaughterhouse in the area where pigs are killed? Uh, yes, Fletcher's the man. He was a regular client, owner of a little butcher's shop not far. But Miss Bella didn't want him to come, as long as he didn't treat his awful sickness. Can you point to his shop on my map? Certainly. Goodbye, Lucy. Until next time, perhaps, Doctor. Okay, so where is this butcher shop? Uh, where, where does it seem to be new? Oh, here. Cobbler, pet shop. Ah, there's Fletcher's butcher shop. It's closed. Can I move forward, please? Closed due to illness. If the proprietor is ill, the butcher's block is probably not being used. Perhaps I can use it. Now, where could a sick butcher have got to? Clinic, obviously. Is this the butcher's block? Oh, God. Uh, the clinic would be right here. Open. Yes, if Fletcher is in. Good evening, Dr. Watson. Good evening, Dr. Gibbons. I have come to see you because I was wondering if, by any chance, <coughs> you happen to have a patient by the name of Fletcher, a butcher who would have relinquished his shop due to illness. An illness caught during nocturnal encounters, if you catch my drift. Fletcher is one of the regulars at the clinic. Mercury treatment against syphilis. A night with Venus? A lifetime with Mercury. <laughs> he left London a fortnight ago for the fresh country air. Why is he of interest to you? Oh, no reason. I'm more interested in using his shop, only for an hour or so. Would he have left his keys with family in the area? He has none left, but he must have left Hardiman, the cat's meat seller, to oversee his shop. They're in business. They're good friends. Do you know where he can be found? No, but wander around the neighbourhood and listen for his beep beeps. He often passes in front of the clinic. Besides... Besides what? Okay. You big daddy, get out of here. It's me that you're looking for, sweetheart. Um, actually, no. I am looking for the cat food seller, Hardiman. Hardiman? Poor Hardiman? It isn't quitting time for him yet. That gives me some time to wander the streets before he shows up and with him all the cats hereabouts. Do you know where he lives? Sure. And for a copper I might even She's sell so you. Gross. Here are a few coins. You're too kind, Governor. Well, these days I knows that he lives with his mammy on Hanbury Street, in the same place where Dark Annie bled to death. Why did you call him poor Hardiman? Bah! He's in grieving, of course. Just a few weeks ago he lost his wife, and three months before that his girl, poor fella. He was in tatters, even came to cry on my shoulder, believe it or not. Well, I must leave you. I must go to Hanbury Street. Hanbury Street. This is the building in which poor Annie Chapman was killed. Baby! There he is. Is that the uh, artist? <laughs> Baby! Hello, are you Mr. Hardiman? That's me. I am Dr. Watson. I have come to see you about Fletcher's shop. I would like to use it for an hour or two, if you have the keys and your rates are reasonable. Do you want to operate on someone in the butchers? Not at all. One of my friends needs it to prepare pig's heads. That's so well, suspicious. Well, why not? Fletcher certainly wouldn't mind. 
but there's a problem. A problem? How so? This morning, the neighbour above broke his key in the door. The old boy must have already had a drink. So? Well, I tried my best to unjam it with Fletcher's spare key, which is pretty thin, and bam, that one broke too. Hard luck, but if you have the end of the broken key, perhaps it can be fixed. It must still be upstairs. I didn't pick it up. Fletcher has a key too, so I didn't think it was a problem. Fancy, if I just had another key with a simpler blade, I could copy it. I'm great at odd jobs. Fine, I will try to find all of that. Well, see you later then. Goodbye, sir. Okay, so where... I way? have no reason to go okay. that way. No. Oh, here. Okay. Um. Climb the stairs. We're going upstairs this time. This is where Annie was killed. Ugh. Oh, no. But what a... Oh, how dreadful. Kebabs. The same as Hardiman's. So he prepares his meat here. My word, these are innards. This bag contains butcher's equipment. This bag contains butcher's equipment. Um. Okay. Apparently there should be a... Where can I find a key with a simpler blade? On a worthless door, perhaps. Can I pick that up? No. Okay. Um. Now the front door. Go back in. I don't know why it says to go out the front door. We have to go out back over here. This key was left inadvertently. Indeed, there is nothing terribly precious inside. But what a stench. Yeah. Okay, now what? Um... Have to give him his two keys. Maybe. Have you found everything I need to remake the key? He looks like a puppet, like Herman the Frog or something when he talks. There you go. I think you'll manage with all of this. I'm sure I will, sir. It won't take me long. Say, I think there's some of your business upstairs. Oh, you're right. I ain't had the time to sort it out. Sometimes I'm in such a hurry to prepare my meat that I forget to clean up. But why do it in the stairwell? Awful bleeds bucket loads, they do, as you've seen. Now, why would I do that in my own lodgings? Ah, of course. But what about your poor neighbours? They owe it to me all the times I've helped them out. And I don't have a shop either. Say, you sell animal meat, isn't that right? Would you know where I could find a dozen small pig's heads? The guy who gets me my offal should have some. I'll pay your day's wages if you meet me at Fletcher's butcher shop in two hours with the pig's heads. Here's a little advance. I'll do my best, Doctor. The caretaker of another building told us that the place where your mother lives has a reputation for facilitating prostitutes' activities. Is that true? Sure, the doors are never closed. They come through here like it's Paddington Station. By the way, I heard about your loss. My condolences. Ta, sir. I saw them die slow deaths. My little girl, her face was eaten by the disease. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, and please forgive me for bringing up such painful memories. Go, I must do my rounds. And I will look for what you've asked for. <laughs> nice job, for me, Watson. I will go and find Holmes, and we will go to the butchers together. Let's return to Fletcher's butcher shop. Okay, guys. Um, oh. Your heads are on the block inside. Say, you wouldn't be the same chap who bought my whole load the other day. 
It's possible, but if you want to continue to do business together, you mustn't speak of my presence in the area to anyone. Don't worry, my lord. I'll be as quiet as lord. a church mouse. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you here for now, but uh, look forward to some more. Thanks for watching.